We get asked all the time on the YouTube channel and within our Facebook coaching communities, what fitness gadgets do we use? The answer is none. We don't use fitness gadgets. In this video, we're gonna explain why. The number one reason why we don't use fitness gadgets is something called artificial complexity. There is so much information on the internet around fitness and nutrition and exercise. And when you bring in fitness gadgets as well, it's just more noise that detracts from you doing the thing. And by doing the thing, I mean just grabbing your jump rope or doing whatever exercise you usually do and going as hard as you can. So many people focus on, well, let me check my calorie counter and make sure like, you know, I've burned my thousand calories today or make sure my heart rate's where I need it to be. All that stuff is just creating artificial complexity and detracting from your ability to focus on what matters most, which is just going as hard as you can while you're doing exercise. And listen, we understand there's a lot of great marketing around these fitness gadgets promising you that like if you pay attention to these different things, they can link them to this study that might help you. You know what's gonna help you the most? Just exercising and going as hard as you can and counting the total amount of calories and macronutrients that you're putting in your body. Now, for all you competitive athletes, I'm not talking to you. If you are a competitive athlete and you are seriously in awesome shape and you're paying attention to the numbers, whether it be the calories you're taking in, the heart rate, the amount of steps, the amount of cycles, whatever. If you're paying attention to that, of course you have to because you're a competitive athlete. These little incremental things make a big difference for you. I'm speaking to the person who has trouble losing weight. I'm speaking to the person who has been plateaued with their weight for a long time and wondering why am I not seeing results. The reason why you're not seeing results is you're not paying attention to the right things. So my boy Dan's gonna come in here and tell you what you should be paying attention to and he's also gonna do a little story time and talk to you a little bit about the people who usually use gadgets to get feedback that don't actually help them with reaching their fitness goals. All right guys, here's the deal. A lot of people in our fitness community and just in the broader YouTube community email us or comment on a video and say, how many calories does this workout burn? The problem with relying on gadgets and numbers like the scale or the number of calories you see burned on your little watch, the problem with those numbers is they don't actually give you feedback on the results you're getting. The results that you are getting are going to be seen in the mirror. You have to look at yourself. You have to take pictures of yourself and compare them. You can't step on a scale and look at a number and expect that to tell you the progress you are or are not making. We all know Nancy sitting at the office. She's like, I hit my 10K steps today. Well, Nancy, does your body look any different? No. We all know the dude that's decked out from head to toe in like 500 bucks worth of cycling gear, but he still is like 50 pounds overweight and has been that way for 10 years. Another example, there's a jump rope out there that counts the number of repetitions that you do. How is that information about how many skips you do helping your body lose weight at all? It's not, it's just a number. I'll be totally honest with you guys, anyone who's counting the number of skips that they're doing is wasting a lot of headspace. Just follow our workouts on the channel and get super intense for durations of 30 seconds. That's all you have to do. You don't have to count how many times the jump rope goes under your legs. The point here is guys, you can have the best outfits, you can have the best watches, but if you're not getting intense during your workouts like Brandon talked about and you're not eating in a calorie deficit, then all of that is pointless and you're just, you're going down a harder route than it needs to be. So guys, the two things we wanna focus on is looking at yourself, looking at the progress you are or are not making, and second, how are you feeling? So that first one, what I'm talking about is consistently each week looking in the mirror, taking pictures of yourself, and measuring things like your waist. If you are, for example, not fitting in to your pants anymore because you've lost a bunch of weight, but the scale is still saying the same number, is that a bad thing? No, that's a great thing. Who, who gives a shit what the scale says? You guys are making progress. Guys, we get it. We understand and appreciate you taking interest in your health by buying some of these gadgets, and we know it's very well intentioned, but the problem is, guys, in a world that's filled with artificial complexity, many people focus way too much on the numbers rather than the actual results that they are producing. You guys, we want you to walk away from this video understanding that most fitness gadgets are not gonna get you closer to reaching whatever your fitness goal is. If you are a competitive athlete, awesome. Go use 
use a fitness gadget. We don't use them because they detract from our ability to just do the thing and enjoy the process. We want to go exercise, we want to go as hard as we can, and we want to leave it there. We don't want to have to go look at all these analytics. We're talking about not using tools like Fitbits and things that count your calories as you're moving throughout the day, that count your steps, that count you know, how many heartbeats you have per minute. These are the things that detracts from you just doing the thing. So if you've been plateaued for a while, you're not seeing results, and you're spending energy and conscious attention on using these kind of gadgets, stop using them and start focusing on what matters most. We hope this video is helpful for you guys. You now got some perspective on like what the Zen dudes do with their lives and how we think about fitness technology. I think in the future, this stuff's gonna get a lot more interesting, but right now, most of these tools are not necessary. So if you like this video, please like it. Comment if you have any questions below. If you have tools you think are super helpful and we don't know about them, drop them below. We haven't seen them yet. And finally, subscribe to the YouTube channel to get more videos like this to help you jump rope, get lean, and live an awesome life.